And Steven, we're back at you today again. What deck profile do you have for, for us today? Yo, I showed you guys DD Pendulums. Now I'm about to show you guys Odd Eyes Pendulums. No, stop, Steven. And it's was better dead. than Odd Eyes, bro. Odd Eyes will never die. Ever, all right? Okay, Steven, wait. Uh, you know, like, Kate, um, when I first started, uh, you know, uh, doing videos on this channel frequently, uh, I got Gabe. You know Gabe? You know Gabe, right? Who's that? Gabe, like Gabe. He was known as... Oh, the... you mean the ant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's known as the Odd Eyes Master. Like, like previously. So, what do you have to say, like, about that? Little story here. I don't remember too much, because it was years ago, and who remembers ants, right? But, a long time ago, the Magician Structure deck just came out. I played at this Locals right right now, Dollies. There's a Locals in Toronto called 401. I went down there when the Magician Structure deck came out just to destroy people. I, I destroyed everyone here, I wanted to destroy everyone there. I seen this Spanish kid talk up. I'm like, who is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I started talking too much. So I mean, let's play. He slapped him. From what I remember, it was an absolute utter obliteration. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna do uh, do the video, but before, little shout out to my boy Matt, to Sam. I bought the mat, bro. I, I think oh, it's Steven, so sick. Man, yeah, yo, bro. you're so you're so nice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, thanks, thanks, bro. Steven. At the end of the day, like I bought this for one reason. I think it's a sick artwork, and I love my beast sky strikers using their mat. It is a nice feeling. So I like using it. Uh, whether you, I play Star or not, man, I just use it. I know everyone plays that mat deck, so I use it, destroy them, and then I tell them, yo, you like my mat? But anyways, that's it. And uh, we're all right, guys. Anyway, Steven, thank you so much, bro. Get your mats in the description box today, guys. 140 dollars subscriber play mat, and that'll be absolutely amazing. And Steven, anything else you want to say before we get started with the deck, bro? Bro, just sick artwork. And then lastly, uh, follow my trip fitness. That's another channel I have. Uh, just about getting uh, shredded. So I'm super skinny now, but want to get shredded. I want to get these uh, fat people up, but you get enough fat. I make them fit, not fat. All right, guys. So it's a little dream of mine. So go follow trip fitness and trip gaming. All right, let's get started. All right, so. Odd Eyes Engine will be two Odd Eyes, uh, two Eyes Arc Pendulum, uh, two Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, and then three Iris, three Terraforming. Okay, so, so explain this. Yeah, so you need to draw, play at least two of these 100%. The whole reason I'm playing it is Sky Iris. Sky Iris, busted. It's absolutely busted. How busted? And out of two, 10, out of 10. 14. Now, <laughs> now out of these, uh, there's also a reason you play these ones. You don't need to play other Odd Eyes cards or uh, any Odd Eyes Perform Pop cards. You don't need to play those, just these ones. So. This is another pseudo turbo card. What do you mean? So basically, if you uh, if you open two of these eight, two of these ten, if you open two of these ten, uh, Electra or more Iris pops the other, and then you make a, a, another card come out. So it's another turbo card to put monsters on board to go uh, stick to the game plan, make three less before your pen summon. So you want as many as possible, right? So these are eight pseudo ones, pseudos. So they're kind of turbo cards, but not really. They need another card to ensure it's a turbo card. These six also ensure that nine other cards in the deck turn turbo cards. So playing this engine, you now go from 13, 14, or 12 turbo, like if you're playing 40 cards, then you can max out at 12 at, at most. Uh, I play 14 in mine, but with 60, you play 14 normal turbo cards, plus eight pseudos, plus nine pseudos that are, are not, I didn't show you, 17 pseudo turbo cards. 17 pseudo turbo cards. Pseudo. Just the, the, the pseudo. Plus other 14, that's 31. In a 60 card deck. What does pseudo mean? If it pseudo mean means it? like uh, it's kind of a turbo card depending on what you draw, but there's a high chance of it becoming a, t a turbo card. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. And if you play Trick Stars, you also have a, a six more turbo cards in Leonidas. So, uh, ways to get Leonidas. So, against Trick Stars, you have 37 turbo cards. <laughs> like, that's what you're saying. Like how, do you like, how do you win with this deck? That's how I do not lose with this deck. You play 37 turbo cards against Trick Stars, which is 99% of what you're facing. Some variant of that deck. Anyways, so the, uh, then this. Very important to play this, man, because if you get hand-trapped a lot, you need the Persona Dragons. Personas and Jackals. So, when you get hand-trapped, people are going to have two hand-traps easy. If you don't face two hand-traps, you're playing a wrong format. So, you got three Terraforming, three Iris, two Personas. Those are eight ways to go into Persona. Eight. You play three Cerberus, two Jackal. That's five. Those are 13 one-card monster interruptions. And you can't chain block this card. So, if they got a Soul Day or whatever, they're trying to chain block, you just negate it, and it's negated regardless. So it's very important to play in case you get hand trapped because you can go. Uh, you have 13 ways to go into Monster Negate plus a, a Naruto or something. So through two hand traps, so you can't do anything against. That's why a lot of eyes are really really good. They're better against hand traps and they give you way more triple cards. So that's pretty much for your odd eyes. Yeah. No odd eyes pendulum. Uh, that's it for the odd eyes, and then that's it for the odd eyes. The next, the, the real, the like 100% triple cards. So we got uh, 14, nine, uh, 14. You play one for one for the DDs. 
the DDs are too big of a plus to not play in any Pendulum deck or any deck for that matter. Play it no matter what deck you play. Nice. AKA play Pendulum no matter what. And then you see you got these. There's more turbo cards. Uh, then these are the pseudo turbo cards. Three hamster, three abductor, and this is a proxy. It's Abyss Actor Wild Hope. Okay, so explain what Abyss Actor Wild Hope is. Yeah, so uh, before I do that, abductor, by the way, is the best card in this entire deck. How come? So you have around, I think, 35 or 36 spell cards. If they're not spells, they're chronographs that lead to scale. Mm. You only need to open one or two of those, and you got any card you want from your deck to your hand. You had a chronograph, you had a hamster, you had a Kepler, and it resolves so many plays. And there's so many times where I go three abductor effects in one turn. How? Uh, so many turbo cards because you're playing like 30 pseudo turbo cards. So instead of adding a turbo card with Electrum, you pop the abductor and add the abductor again. Mm. And you keep getting pluses off abductor. And it allows you to do so many plays, so many pluses, unreal. Three hamsters make sure that no matter what, uh, you always have a card in extra deck because you have so many ways to put a card in extra deck. Like you have, uh, you have, uh, you have 37 uh, pseudo, 30 pseudo cards, right? So any way you, you any level four that's on the on the field is a pseudo card. It goes to the extra, you normal this. You have your six ways to go into Iris, you normal this. Mm. I'm just always live, and it's unreal playing three. So these are needed in Wild Hope. The one, you guys might not know it, it's another Abyss Actor. So it says when this level four is scale two, uh, just more sk low skills, which is important as well. Uh, so when it gets destroyed by Battler Card Effect, aka by your six Sky Irises or by your 90 million Electrums that you're here to make, uh, you add a Curtain Razor. So if you pop it with Sky Iris, you get the scale you need, whether it's scale 1 or scale 8, uh, whether you want the Monster Negate or the Pseudo Turbo card, and then you add Curtain Razor, which then summons itself. Because it's, Sky, it's a free Turbo card and a free card in general. Wow. So it, it's amazing. And I can't begin to explain how good the Sky Iris is, man. Honestly, I, I rarely lose, I almost never lose when I resolve Sky Iris. So, because uh, Sky Iris literally allows all of these plays to go through. Correct. You literally, Iris lets you choose, do you want a Monster Negate in your hand? A scale one Monster Negate. So do you want a scale one? Do you want a scale eight? Do you want a Monster Negate? Or do you want a pseudo turbo card? Like, it's anything, unreal. Anything. Exactly. It gives you anything. It gives you almost anything in your deck in terms of utility. So next, are just the plus cards now, which are needed. I keep saying you need uh, plus cards no matter what. Uh, I only I play if you're playing 40, play two and one. If you're playing 60, play three and two. It's amazing having uh, the option to get free pluses even turn two. If they like triple hand trap you or double hand trap you with a bad hand, you always want to have more ways to go into worm and zero. Uh, three Rabuko and Cat also needed no matter what pendulum deck you play 40, 60, 20, don't, don't matter. Doesn't matter. Zephyrus, anything. You have to play these because uh, this uh, literally uh, it's like Astrap never left. Because Chrono, Special, Babuku, add Nekomata. Chrono, Special, Nekomata, add a Babuku end phase. It's a plus two, and it's free fodder. So what Astrograph did will give you plus and a free monster aboard. Uh, it does the same thing with, with these. So Chrono, Special, these does the exact same thing. You'll be surprised what you can accomplish if you're a little uh, smart. And if you think a little bit. Next to DDs, which are broken. Uh, check out the DD video we already made. Like, that one's just unreal. We play so many DD cards in it. Uh, where it just ensures that Siegfried and Drexler come out every turn. Uh, it's just so sick. I love DDs. So these five... Uh, this is just because it's a level 7 and uh, auto winning against Trick Stars. This adds a Kepler. And if you hard draw, it's not bad. Cause just, it's actually really good hard drawing this. It's not a brick. Because you send this with Electrum and then add it with this. And you do the same combo plus 4. And also the 1 for 1. Uh, so it's like 6 uh, DDs plus the 2 contracts. Uh, you need to play 2. Because if you draw 1, then drawing, drawing a, the other contract just completely dead. Because uh, Thomas or Kepler will do nothing. And then the one Magician we play is Time Gazer. We actually took out Magicians because we're, uh, you know... Uh, we have a brain so magicians are really good but we, we get to think for ourselves we're not we're not sheep like 99 percent of you uh yeah magicians are amazing but they are guardians at the end of the day every single card in our deck does something plus one neg one plus four they do something mm -hmm. magicians are great to have in scale but having this much of a pendulum mash you have so many pendulums going around with sky iris which is any pendulum any scale you want you never run out of scales mm. but just are just good to have in the scale to ensure you never like have you always have a low scale and a high scale like scale one scale eight nice. but iris takes care of that and then the two jackals which are absolutely needed uh, no matter what. And then three desires, three allures. Uh, it's really good to have all this draw power because you get to search through. It's a 54 card deck. So you have like 37 turbo cards and a 54 card deck. Like there's hands where I drew five turbo cards and just showed my opponent and they scoop. Uh, so the six. And then lastly, those are 58 cards. Absolutely broken. Those are the plus cards of the deck. These are the auto wins of the deck. Show so the auto wins. You play three terraforming. This is the semi auto win because it's tough to draw. It's four ofs, secret village. So sometimes you're going to draw one Terraforming, one Iris. 
you only need one of them to win. So you resolve the one iris you need to win. And the last terraform, you get the village. And you win against almost anything because your end board's gonna have a bunch of spellcasters. And then lastly, this card surge. This is the whole decks for. We played so many sixes and sevens, Imperial Order. So we you guys already know what Imperial Order does against uh, uh Sky Strikers. Wait, uh, so you're searching this card? I searched this card. Okay, so we'll show them that, but anyways. I'll, I'll show them that at the very end, but the end board is insane. It's a set Imperial Order, it's a set firewall. Or it's not set activated every single turn it's firewall griffin order and vortex every turn so with a which cards everywhere cards hand cards so uh, this is your board skill. yeah every single time uh, it's a lock though you can't activate special summon monsters you can't activate spell cards you can't stop any of them with a monster like a purple poison or something because a firewall or a spiral tough and then a vortex will negate the impermanence that you might have on the pure order or anything it's so good uh, and it's every single turn this happens. And the next turn you just OTK. And next turn I OTK with the multiple cards I have in hand. Wow. And scales. And it's too good. And uh, it always resolves. Uh, I side into Masquerade Strict. Uh, just in case they uh, sphere mode me or anything. And it's absolutely busted. Uh, I go into this every time. Literally every time. Every time. Yeah. All right, awesome. uh, even uh, even if, let's say they sphere mode me. I get Sky Strikers. No problem. I have multiple cards in hand. I'm OTKing you next turn. Good luck playing. Oh, because like if your order allows you to play your scale still. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can still pen summon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hundred percent. That's why it's so beautiful. Like I just activate scales, pen five, right? That's it. If I'm basing sky, let's say they have double evenly. Let's say they have evenly, and then they the pop card. They pop this evenly. I'll even let everything leave. I'll keep the order because they can't play. I can normal summon dark worm and attack every turn and win. That's how good this card is against the meta. It's absolutely busted. It's the best card in the whole game right now because it absolutely is a one card out of win. Same right, with Secret awesome. Village. All right, that's awesome. Uh, combo video coming up, right? Yes, uh, extra deck. Extra deck. Let's go so extra, extra deck. deck. Three Electrum. Uh, Underclaw. Oh, these ones. The Lynx. One sec. Yeah, Lynx. We got three Electrums. Underclock, Metaltron, Griffin, Firewall, Boreload. Uh, the extra deck is not that tight as people say it is. These two could leave. You can put some other stuff in it. It is. I like having more links because with Imperial Order, uh, you want to have a lot of links to play uh, play around with Griffin and Firewall special summon effect to ensure that you always have a negate. Along, sometimes you can't put up rank sevens. Sometimes you can't. So that's why you got to play around with Firewall's effect and link away for literally nothing to go into like a two uh, like a Bambuku. Mm. Like sometimes I add Bambuku special uh, after my whole combo. I just have a Bambuku in hand without using its effect. Special Bambuku add cat. Do some shenanigans with Firewall, Cat, Totem Bird. So you still go Totem Bird, Firewall, Griffin, and Imperial Order. You just gotta be crafty. Nice. And then Borlo's the best follow-up player in the game. Because you just pen everything, Borlo, and win. Uh, XYZ's is these. So Totem Bird, Time Star, Tornado, Narito, Beatrice. Beatrice is the way to do the combo. You go in two rank seven, two rank seven, two rank seven, two rank sixes, or two rank threes, two rank sixes. And then Beatrice, set order, then Griffin and set it. Uh, and you get a free plus and you have more follow-ups, right? And then uh the absolute in the vortex, wherever the vortex wants. The vortex, and then uh, and that's it for the extra. Let's go up to your side deck real quick. Three sphere, three golem, yeah, three thing. evenly, three reboot. These are necessary. Uh, this hits everything. And then uh, one guy got cowboy. And then uh, I didn't have them right now on me. It's one mask restrict. And this could be anything. I'm thinking of making a dweller, or I might. Uh, main deck cowboy for an underclock and put in two tone twisters to ensure we're good with anti-spell that's the deck it's absolutely broken all right awesome steven uh combo video is coming up tomorrow yeah. smash the thumbs up button right and uh anything else you want to say before we uh end off this video uh just subscribe to trip fitness and trip gaming all right awesome this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace